Luxa and welcome on this Tuesday morning. And um, we are busy with our series on the, the great story, the story of the Bible. And it's actually the story of Christ. And today our theme will be focusing just on that, the promise of an eternal king. Now, passages you can read is in Jeremiah 23 verse 1 to 6 and Isaiah 9 verse 5 and 6 or 6 and 7 and um, I want to read a few snippets from these two passages in Jeremiah 23 verse 5 we read behold the days are coming says the Lord that I will raise to David a branch of righteousness a king shall reign and prosper and execute judgment and righteousness in the earth. And then in Isaiah 9, verse, 5, verse 6 to 7, we read the following. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is giving, given, and the government will be upon his shoulder, and his name will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. And the increase of his government and peace, there will be no end on, upon the throne of David and over his kingdom. So there's a promise that there will come a king. We find it in the Old Testament, long before Jesus arrived. The promise was there. And this coming king was described very specific throughout the Bible. The the coming, the promise of the King, of the Messiah, is the golden thread that runs right through the Bible. You get it in Genesis. At the start, after man fall into sin, God made a promise that there will come someone, and he will destroy the works of the devil. And Jesus Christ was that man. And when we read in the Bible, the apostles preaching the gospel, you see, they always use the Old Testament to prove that Jesus is the Messiah. He's the one that has been promised. He's the promise of this eternal king that would come. In Acts 18.28, we read of Apollos that he proved through the scriptures that Jesus was the Messiah. And I hope that when you read this promise in the Old Testament, that you would realize that God wrote about this king. He made these promises long before Jesus came so that we can know for sure what we believe and who we believe. Believing in Jesus Christ is not something that I'm trying to do in the hope that he's there. I read it in the Bible long before he came. God made very specific pronouncements about Christ. He will be born in Bethlehem, the way he would live, the way he would die. That he would rose from the dead. That he will born, be born from a virgin. If you read Daniel 8 and you look at and you convert that into days and you, and we look at history. Then we see that even the date Jesus rode in, on a donkey into Jerusalem was prophesied in the Old Testament. And the date. So, so only one person in the whole world history fulfilled this promise. And his name is Jesus. And that should give us faith, faith in our hearts, that we are not believing in a myth or a nice story, but or somebody and just a good man. God prophesied in the Old Testament that there's a promise, the promise of an eternal king, and he will come. And I'm so glad that we can walk in that light. May this strengthen your faith when you read it in the Old Testament. Let's pray. Lord, Thank you for your word. Thank you that you give us something. You give substance to our faith. And that we can know that you are the Messiah. We love you. And we want to serve you with all of our lives. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for tuning in. God bless.